welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another recipe video. Today I'm going to show you guys three different recipes using kale that do not suck and they're delicious and they're also very, very easy to make. These are just different ideas of incorporating kale into your everyday meals so that you end up getting more nutrients and more vitamins and all of the benefits of kale, but you don't have to like, you know, eat a kale salad if that's not what you want to do. So I'm going to show you guys three really delicious ways of using kale. Let's get started. So the first recipe, if you could even call it that, is so easy. It's something I just whipped up really quickly one night and I thought, okay, this could make a good you know video just to show you guys that it doesn't have to be complicated so it's kind of like a very quick and easy kale stir fry and i'm just taking a bunch of kale here so what i do is i just wash it up and i use every little part of the kale i know that some people like to remove the stem but I don't mind having the stem especially in like a stir fry because it adds extra bit of texture and I don't like to waste food but it's up to you if you want to remove the stem and maybe use it for something else you could totally do that so I just chop it up into little pieces and then on a large pan I'm just gonna add some oil and for this recipe I'm actually adding some edamame beans these are frozen edamame beans so I'm adding this first to kind of just thaw it out these are already cooked so it doesn't take very long then I'm going to add some minced garlic. I already have a bunch here, so I'm just going to add that in. You can add as much or as little as you want. And then here we're just going to throw in the kale. And basically, I like to cook it until it becomes a really nice, vibrant green color. I like to throw the lid back on to allow the kale to steam a bit. And as you can see, the color is becoming really, really nice and very green. And for flavors, I'm adding in some soy sauce or tamari. I'm going to keep it super simple. I'm also going to add in some rice vinegar. That's going to bring out some of that flavor as well. I'm adding in a little bit of agave nectar. You can add whatever sweetener of your choice. And once everything is cooked, at the very end, I'm adding in a tiny bit of sesame oil. And that's pretty much it. I know, so easy, so simple. I like to have this with rice, or you could just have it as like a little side or as a nice warm cooked salad. I'm gonna top mine with toasted sesame seeds as per usual. And that's it, so easy, so simple. And the garlic makes this taste so good. Our second recipe is going to be a vegan classic. It's going to be a scrambled tofu with some kale. So we're adding in some extra health nutrients and of course some great textures in there as well. I feel like it makes the scrambled tofu much more interesting and I love the colors in this too. So I'm just chopping up some kale as per usual. Once again, just leaving everything in there, not letting anything go to waste. And on a pan, we are going to add some vegan butter. You can of course just use regular oil if you would like. I like like this one by Basel. I feel like it adds a nice little hint of flavor, so that's why I'm using vegan butter. And then with my hands, I am going to crumble up my extra firm tofu. I'm using extra firm this time, but you can use different kinds of tofu. Just play around with your scrambled tofu, my friends. And then for my spices, I have this jar of scrambled tofu seasoning, which basically I mix together a bunch of different spices that I like to add for scrambled tofu into one jar. So anytime I make scrambled tofu I can just take that one jar out and add in the spices I know life-changing I have a video on this I'm gonna probably make a separate video where I talk about this but I'll link the video I already have in the description box below and as you can see here I've already added in my kale and I'm gonna add in some chopped tomatoes the reason why I added the chopped tomatoes is because with just the kale and tofu it seemed a bit dry so I would recommend adding in tomatoes or maybe some bell pepper to just kind of add in a little bit of that moisture if you will and that's pretty much it it's super simple so easy of course you can add in some salt pepper do whatever you got to do you can top this with ketchup or sriracha or whatever you like to do and i just think this is such a great way to add in some healthy greens into your everyday breakfast and it just makes it more interesting so many more textures in there and look at these beautiful colors 
So last but not least, my friends, we've got a delicious pasta recipe that's super simple. It's going to be a lemony garlic and oil pasta. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a oil and garlic pasta, garlic and oil pasta, aglio e olio pasta recipe a while back. And it's so tasty. It's so delicious. It's so simple. But we're going to add in some, a few extra little steps to make it a bit healthier and also change things up just a little bit. So we have here some garlic okay lots of garlic we're gonna use three cloves i guess these are pretty big cloves too i like a ton of garlic okay don't come for me i love my garlic okay i'll be smelling like garlic every day we chop in the garlic we're gonna boil the pasta in a separate little pot here now my aglio and olio recipe i do everything in one pot so if you guys want to check that out once again link will be below so in a pan, I added in about two tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm going to add in my sliced garlic. Now you don't want to let the garlic burn, just let it cook and keep an eye on it. Just keep stirring it around. And then here I actually added in the kale at this step, but in hindsight, I probably would add in the kale after I added in the pasta because the kale just soaked up all of the oil and I wanted the pasta to have kind of like that oil you know that oiliness so i don't know if it would make a difference but i think next time i would add in the pasta first and then at the very end maybe stir in the kale to let it lightly cook now i'm adding in the juice of half a lemon and the reason why i'm adding lemon juice is to bring out the flavors a little bit more i'm also going to add in some black pepper as well lemon juice is a great way to bring out flavors without adding so much salt anytime i add lemon juice to something i feel like i added in a ton of salt but really it's just the lemon at the very end here, I'm just going to stir in a little bit more olive oil. And here, of course, you can adjust flavors, add in more of what you want. If maybe you need some more lemon juice, maybe you need some more salt or pepper, whatever it may be. So we're just mixing that well and then plating it. Now, next step is crucial. This is the cashew parmesan that I made. It is a vegan parmesan made of cashews, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and salt super simple i'll leave a little link below with a recipe so easy but this was a really important step it added in another little element of flavor so that's it guys that is how you make the kale alio e olio and lemon pasta just a little twist on a classic alio and olio and another reason why I added lemon juice into this dish is because apparently vitamin C enhances iron absorption. So when you have foods that are high in iron, you also want to add in some vitamin C with it because it really helps enhance the absorption of iron. Although I have heard that kale is also very high in vitamin C. I don't know, guys. Either way, eat more kale. All right, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and now you can incorporate kale more into your life. And of course, you can do this with other vegetables, other leafy greens as well. So I encourage you to experiment in the kitchen and figure out different ways of adding in more vegetables into your diet. I'm definitely gonna be using these little tricks in my cooking as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe for more vegan recipes and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.